Today, we have a busy day. I woke up with a song in my head. I think it's from our church's preschool. Our day is beginning. There's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. I think that's how it goes. Anyways, we have a lot to do today, so we thought we would vlog and it's gonna be fun. Spencer says we've already started the morning too late, <laughs> which he's probably right. What are we doing well, today, babe? It's 11 o'clock. That's like basically the middle of the day, I think. But today we are tasting chicken sandwiches, painting the baby's room, moving some furniture in there. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I should mention it's Saturday, so I don't know why we're being so productive today. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, there are two free chicken sandwiches that just so happen to be available today, so I'm gonna go get mine. Spencer already got his, and then we are going to have some breakfast to start the day off. We've got our first biscuit. And I think I've made it here just in time. Why do I always do this to myself? Do things at the very last minute. Why? Why? <laughs> I don't know. I could save myself a lot of stress if I just did things ahead of time. Okay, we have both the chicken breakfast. I was kind of worried for a second there because I waited at curbside for a Chick-fil-A for like 15 minutes and no one came out. So when I went through the drive-thru, and they were like, oh, no problem, just go to the front. But then I got stuck in the drive-thru. So then I asked to make sure I was going to the right place. And she was like, oh, yeah, sorry about that. Here you go. But this is definitely not what I ordered. So we're going to find out what's in here. Babe. Yes. I come bearing surprise Chick-fil-A. <laughs> is that much of a surprise, though? It is. Oh. And then she's like, here you go, bye. And she left. And I was like, I don't think this is what I ordered. So... We're gonna find out. Maybe we'll have three options for oh. chicken breakfast. You wanna see? Yeah, let's see what's in here. Okay. Either that or they gave me like extra because I was waiting for it. Because it does have the sauces that I asked for. What's in here? No. Okay. This is what we ordered. This is chicken breakfast number one. What is this? More oh, chicken. Oh, a double. Double. Maybe since it was the end of breakfast, they were like, oh, I'll just throw a second one in there because oh, we're gonna have to throw away anyway. I hope they didn't give me someone else's order. Seems too weird. What sauces did you get? My go-to's. Chick-fil-A and Garden Herb. I feel like it's too, the sauces make it unlikely that it's... You think they just gave me this because they were like, she's been waiting for 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, maybe. They're nice like that. Well, you ready for a taste test? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. I gotta wash my hands. Okay, so like we said, somehow both of these chicken breakfasts were free today. So... Option number one is the Chick-fil-A honey mini chicken biscuit something breakfast and There's option... honey on that one. Yeah. This one is honey. Yes, this is the Wendy's honey butter chicken. And this one definitely has honey on it too. Okay, babe, tell us which one is the winner. I would say I definitely prefer the Chick-fil-A to the Wendy's. Just the, the flavor and texture of the... Of everything or the chicken or the biscuit or what? The whole thing. The... the, the Whatever this is, this biscuit stuff is softer. It's a little bit tastier. The chicken seems more like real chicken. This seems more <laughs> like a chicken McNugget, even though I don't think it is, but... Chicken McNugget? A delicious chicken McNugget. Yeah. The sauce, the Chick-fil-A sauce is better than the honey butter stuff that's on this one, so... Yeah, you can't go wrong with Chick-fil-A sauce. Okay, first off, I'm, like, never usually a fan of having salty with sweets, like chicken and honey. I'm like... But... This is, this is delicious, Wendy's. Thank you. I don't know. They're both really good. <laughs> the Chick-fil-A does have like a nice yeasty tasting roll. And I can see what you mean. The chicken does taste more chickeny in the Chick-fil-A. But I like the Wendy's chicken too, so. I feel like a fried chicken sandwich is a good way to start any day off. It's kind of weird to eat it for breakfast, but we're protein packed. <laughs> so I'm going to go get ready and then I think we're going to get to work. Yeah. I'm gonna put some hot sauce on this Wendy's one. I think that adds some good flavor. <laughs> so funny, I thought it was really flavorful. Just like a little bit of spice. Yeah, different strokes. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Paint 
skeleton here at all is because about a year and a half ago, we painted the bedrooms and we painted this one pink. But guess what? I mean, a boy could have a pink room. A that. boy could yeah. totally have a pink room. But well, look at what else we did when we installed the trim. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't think that through. So, uh, first off, we can't paint behind the wall until this shutter can move, and um, we can't close the shutter ever. So, Spencer's gonna take that off. But I've actually been doing a ton of work these past couple weeks um, to get the room ready and clear out my stuff and our stuff because we had really been using it in here for storage. So, first off, I cleared out the closet. We were using it to store tons of different things, jackets, sweatshirts, bathroom overstock, um, the baby stuff that we have already, also my old dance shoes, and I mean, you can see there's just tons of stuff in here. We do Christmas presents in this closet, don't know where we're going to put those in the future, but we will find a place. And then I moved on on another day to cleaning out underneath the bed, and oh, also making lots of use of this space. So I have lots of bins for organizing so that I have them when I need them. And then I also had some different Easter decor and pillows stashed under the bed. Luckily, I had also saved all of these protective plastic zipper bags, you know, the ones that like comforters and sheets come in. And that was so great because I was able to store away those pillows for use later in those and I know they'll be protected. And then finally I'm just putting all the buddies into the bins, we'll pull them out later, and then getting the bedding off and storing that away. Hopefully we can use it in a future house when we have another bedroom. And last but not least, taking off the sheet. Also, Mom, I can just hear you saying, why did you put on makeup to paint? and work around the house. Well, sometimes you just want to put on makeup, okay? I haven't really worn any all week, and since we were filming, I feel like it's a good day to feel beautiful. Sometimes you just want to feel a little just up and beautiful wearing a sweatshirt while you work around the house and paint your baby's room. So, here we are, don't judge me. So now we've got to put this keyboard upstairs and probably the bouncy ball too, and then I've got to put this storage bin overload somewhere and the buddies are gonna hang out in the closet I think so let's do it I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I should ever let you go mm. I don't want to it's super echoey. <laughs> I was super surprised, like even after we took out the mattress, all of a sudden it was like really echoey. We've been doing some masking. Everything is almost protected. It's a lot harder when you have baseboards, which we didn't have last time we painted this room. Spencer actually asked me if we needed to mask this part. He was like, can you see behind here? So I went like this. <laughs> the answer is no, I can't see behind there, but I still feel like we need a mask it, so we did. What would you do? Would you have masked this, or would you just go for it and probably get some paint on the trim? I'm about to head out of this room because paint fumes aren't supposed to be good when you're pregnant. I or guess. when I you're guess. alive. I don't know. We don't, we don't know, but... I'll open a window. Safety first. But I've been given a job. I'm supposed to go get the coffee. It's more of a polite request. <laughs> yeah, and the coffee's in the kitchen, so it's yeah. not like I actually have to go get the coffee. <laughs> yeah. But man, I just have to say, these past couple weeks I've wondered like, can people tell that I'm pregnant? But now, um, I'm pretty sure <laughs> they can tell. This baby has been growing, so we definitely need to get his room ready. Getting the coffee, getting the, oh my god. Oh no, what have we done? They say that when you're decluttering or working on a project like this, things always get worse before they get better, so it's fine, right? Ooh, I also wanted to say I made these no-bake like oatmeal peanut butter chocolate cookies yesterday. Who took a bite out of that one? That's weird. And they are so 
good. I've made these like many, many times, but I didn't have a set recipe, like a go-to one that I use. And so I just looked one up on the internet and I came across this one by this guy, um, Preppy Kitchen. And I watch his videos on Instagram sometimes. He does like really fun baking videos where he makes really cool, fancy things. But he also had these and they just looked so good. And these, this is a winner recipe. I'm going to put it in my book to save because these are a little bit different from the usual way that you make them. Every other time that I've made them, it's just peanut butter, cocoa powder, that kind of stuff, but these have chocolate chips in them too, and they are so good. <laughs> so that's the trick, I think. Chocolate chips. Coffee is served. <laughs> Look at the difference in color. I put this salted caramel creamer in mine. Hey babe. For you. Are you eating my chicken? <laughs> also, I don't know what is happening in here. I swear we don't live in this disaster most of the time, but like, how, like, I feel like I just cleaned this yesterday. It was totally clean. And now it's looking like a crazy person lives here. So. While Spencer is uh, painting, I'm going to start off by doing a tidy because this needs more than a tidy. So, let's do it. Okay, the time has come to paint. Goodbye, pink room. I will miss you. Maybe someday I'll have a pink room. <laughs> making some good progress around here. I have cleaned the kitchen. Also, man, it is raining, raining out there. These are all clean, even though it still looks crazy. Spencer's taking a snack break. How's it going in there, babe? You wanna show us? Sure. What? I'm, I'm not buying cheap paint ever again. It's not worth it. <laughs> I've had to cut in along the top twice to get okay covered, even on this light wall. Look at that. Turning blue. It's like we're in Sleeping Beauty's room or something. Make it blue. Make it pink. You know? You know what I mean? Also, I've been working on projects. I mean, outside of cleaning everything up. I made this embroidery. I guess I should just say I embroidered this forever ago. But then I never got to put it up or do anything with it. And I found it the other day when I was organizing. And Spencer wants it for his shed. So... I just framed it. I just basically taped it to the back of here, but I framed it so he can put it in his gardening wake shed. Wake up without you, baby, without you. Wow, it looks way more blue on camera than it does in person. Pink, blue. The rolling is going on way better than the edging did, so I'm wondering if we can get away with one coat, but we can let it dry and check. Things are going well out here too. I got pretty much everything cleared out that does not go back in the room. So, we're all pretty ready to go. Yay! <laughs> now everything's just upstairs. <laughs> oh no. We're gonna have another room to work on upstairs after this. Oh, I'm not even filming myself. <laughs> what were you saying, baby, about painting? I was saying we gotta get the baby old enough so that he can take over because <laughs> it's just my absolute least favorite. It yeah. takes forever and it hurts. Alright, babe. Thanks for making this sacrifice for our family. <laughs> I should probably get out of here. But I wanted to show you guys the mud bump. This is 35 weeks and wet. And it's a baby. Here's the bump. Spencer is just saying it looks so round. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it is. It's actually a real bump now. Baby's been kicking around. He's like, hey guys, what about me? I want to hang out and paint. Which I'm sure you would appreciate. <laughs> He's welcome to help. Yeah. So as long as he knows how to do masking tape well. Maybe a little bit before he figures that out. He'll be a quick learner. I know it. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here and let you finish up. We're almost there. Baby with her. 
projects and stuff that I'm working on out here but I just feel so bad that I can't be helping Spencer in there because I know painting is hard work. I tried to offer to make him a smoothie. He didn't want that but I'm going to make one anyways and make some dinner. Hello? Oh, he must be on the phone. And I'm going to make some snacky fun dinner because he says he's not hungry but he will be. I actually want to try making this um antioxidant frozen fruit blend as a treat because I bought it forever ago from Costco on sale and I was so excited about it and then it's just been sitting in our freezer. Why? <laughs> Anyways, it has strawberries, cherries, blueberries, red raspberries, and pomegranate seeds. That sounds delicious. Let's, let's get some antioxidants. Mmm, that's good. It tastes like a Costco berry smoothie. <laughs> Let's see what Spencer thinks. Hi. I made you this. I know you didn't want any, but what do you think of the antioxidant smoothie? Ooh, tasty. What does it taste like to you? Any? Does it remind you of anything? Um, it reminds me of a Costco berry smoothie. That's what I said! <laughs> nice. Well, there's, there's more if you want it. I just gave you a little one. Thank you. So I'm going to try to get some little Smokies going really quick. I found these giant bags of little Smokies at Grocery Outlet for $1.27, which I was like, that is a great deal. So I bought like three and I froze the other two and then this one we've been working our way through. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap them up in some crescent roll, make some good finger food and then maybe some broccoli to have some real food. And then I got to get out the door. These are looking good. One thing that I did is last time we made these, Spencer had the idea to put American cheese in them and it was delicious. Like remember those Oscar Mayer hot dogs that had cheese in them, which I think most people might have thought were gross, but I love them. So it's kind of like that. You just split it in half and then you put American cheese in. Only the classiest. So I have to run out super quick because um, one of the projects that I've been doing today is I've been giving away stuff that we didn't need on Buy Nothing and setting up those appointments. And then I'm also selling something to someone on Facebook. So I have to run and go meet him really quick. And then I'll be back to put those little smokies in the oven. Oh, I'm offended. That has never happened to me before. I just got stood up. So, uh, I hope they're okay. I don't know, I thought I thought they were coming, but I guess we'll see if we can sell that later. Oh well. The room looks so good. Spencer just got done with it. He went up to go take a break and play some video games online with his brother, so that's good. So I'm gonna take a break too. A smoothie break. <laughs> and maybe watch a show or something. I'm still super into Property Brothers, so maybe more Property Brothers? Maybe A Million Little Things? Maybe This Is Us? Those are my shows right now, I guess. Okay, yeah, I think I want to do A Million Little Things. If you guys haven't watched this yet and you like um, Parenthood or This Is Us, that kind of show, definitely give it a try. It's nice and heartwarming. I like it. Okay, these are looking good. Yum. Uh, I hope I did the cheese right. <laughs> I just put the broccoli in the oven and I just cut up an apple too for us later. This is a pinata apple. It's I got them in a five pound bag from Trader Joe's and it was $4.99 which makes them a dollar per pound which I think is a pretty good price. They're really good. The name pinata apple is because um, they're supposed to be sweet like a regular apple and crispy but then also they're supposed to have like a tropical tang to them and honestly I don't know if I super taste that but they taste good so I'm happy. Hey guys it is the day two of putting the baby's room together. They will probably be a day three and four and seven and all that but today we are putting the furniture in. So we have a crib and a glider that we're gonna put in. Yesterday we 
<laughs> Yesterday um, we decided to let the paint dry overnight and so it should be good. I haven't seen the finished product yet. So. I think we should have pulled the masking tape off yesterday. Hopefully we don't tear like for a touch oh. of the paint. Yeah, well. I was too tired to think about it yesterday. It's good. Yeah, it'll be fine. And in the background, we will have the hidden cup for finales of Age of Empires 2. In case you're a huge nerd like me. <laughs> oh no, our poor oh, kid has no chance. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> so this is the crazy part. We were actually just intending on painting this weekend and like maybe putting the recliner in right or the glider in. <laughs> yeah. But um, then this showed up at our doorstep like Friday. It's a crib. It's a crib. Yeah. We were so surprised. Um, I was someone... surprised that a single male delivery person could get this to the front door because it's heavy. <laughs> yeah. But someone gave us the sweetest gift of this crib and yeah. what timing but also we're just so thankful so i thought cribs were supposed to come with rails though it just looks like a big cardboard box but i guess well you know babies like boxes so he can probably fit in there <laughs> just kidding uh anyways we're gonna put it up i'm excited to see it let's open it guys it's so cute oh my goodness i can't believe we're gonna have a crib at our house that that seemed like a dumb thing to say but this, we're getting real here. How cute. That's the back. We'll have to see what was harder to assemble, my desk or this bed. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm about to see the room for the first time. I mean, I've kind of seen it, but like, I haven't seen the paint dry and it looked different, I think. Move that door. <laughs> it's blue. Wait, turn on the light. Let's go. Let's go. I want to see it. Oh my gosh. Oh, Wait, yeah, what? No. Oh, <laughs> I forgot where the light is apparently. Ooh, it's still so echoey in here. Look at that. It looks white on the camera. <laughs> yeah. Well, we better pull the mask off. Okay. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully I didn't wait too long. Come on, masking pet. Do your magic. We have a crib, or at least the beginnings of a crib. Oh my gosh. You guys, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> it's like it's smaller than I imagined, even though we had measured it out and everything, it's still smaller, so that's nice. Um, because we're squishing a lot into this room because there are certain furniture pieces, like this dresser, that have nowhere else to go, so the baby's gotta share his room for a little bit. But um, I think everything is going to fit just fine, and I'm excited to see it all assembled. So exciting! Okay, you guys, after a husband wife work party weekend, we have a room. Come on! Dun dun da da! Hello, everyone! <laughs> I have to like scoot way back in the corner to be able to <laughs> show it. So. The basics are here. Mm. Yeah, what do you think? Are you asking them or me? Them, I suppose. <laughs> I'm hoping you like it. What do you think? I love it. Um, I feel like it's feeling kind of bare bones right now because there's like no decor in here. Like we'll probably put the mirror back up once we know the paint is totally dry and we'll put in baby decor, but we just don't have it right now. What is baby decor? I don't know, whatever we want his room to be like. Whatever he wants his room to be like. I mean, when he's older. But, yeah. I'm excited. We have a crib. We have a rocker. We put a lot of things in this room today, but I'm excited for the most important thing, which is... The beer fridge. <laughs> the baby! There's a perfect spot for it. <laughs> The baby. Spencer has worked super hard this whole weekend. Thank you, babe. Oh, did I get lipstick on? <laughs> and well, yeah. Got shower anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> I think we are ready to sit on the couch, watch a show, and enjoy Sunday night. Mm -hmm. If you like the room, be sure to like the video to let us know. If you did not like the video, be sure to subscribe to let us know. Yeah. I don't know how this works. <laughs> and we'll see you in another video super soon. Bye. Bye.